Bishop Thomas J. Costello served the people of the diocese as a Roman Catholic priest for more than 65 years. Within that time, he served as the Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of Syracuse for 26 years. A native of Camden, New York, Costello was the son of James and Ethel DuPont Costello. Ethel was a longtime teacher and then a public school administrator in Rome, New York, and his father James was a grocery store owner. As an only child, he shared his desire to be a priest with his parents. His father's response was, if that is what you want to do, be a damn good one. That was his father's blessing and he lived up to that charge his entire life. He graduated from St. Aloysius Academy in Rome, New York, before continuing his studies at Niagara University, St. Bernard Seminary in Rochester, Theological College and Catholic University of America's School of Canon Law in Washington, D.C. He was ordained a priest on June 5, 1954 at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception by the Most Reverend Walter A. Forey. He was appointed an assistant pastor of Our Lady of Lourdes in Syracuse, where he served from 1954 to 1959. He became a secretary in the diocesan tribunal for one year before being named superintendent of Catholic schools from 1960 to 1975. In 1975, he was named pastor of Our Lady of Lourdes in Syracuse, where he served until 1978. He was then named Vicar General of the Diocese, serving Bishops Harrison, O'Keefe, Moynihan, and Cunningham, remaining in that role until 2009. Costello received many papal honors, including being named a papal chamberlain with the title of Monsignor in 1965, elevated to honorary prelate in 1971, and titular bishop of Perdices and auxiliary bishop of Syracuse in 1978. He was appointed by Pope Paul VI and ordained auxiliary bishop on March 13, 1978 at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Syracuse, choosing as his episcopal motto, to be as one who serves. When named auxiliary bishop, Costello was enthusiastic to work in a teen ministry with then Bishop Frank Harrison. Costello had the vision that teen ministry would become the model for parishes where cooperation and working together were critical. He stated more than once, the church must constantly renew itself in response to the ongoing times. Costello welcomed the changes brought forward from Vatican II and believed strongly in the role of the laity and especially in the role of women. He once stated that, quote, a lot of who I am, what I am, is due to women in my life. Bishop Costello's legacy will most notably include being a passionate preacher with a booming voice and being the man to get things done in the diocese and the greater community. Can't we use these times, these months, get in touch with God, up close and personal. But his strength was that he had the courage to move beyond words and take action, even when that action was not in favor with others. He once stated, the whole mandate of Christianity is to love one another. There can be disagreement without divisiveness. Bishop Costello had little patience for injustice and was never afraid to speak out against racism, social injustice, inequality, violence, and more. He marched in Selma, Alabama with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., fought for employee rights, spoke against the death penalty, abhorred any act of violence, and always promoted interfaith dialogue and equality for all. As one of the founding members of the Interreligious Council, he believed strongly that ecumenism and interfaith dialogue were both needed to solve most of society's greatest ills. He spent his life crediting the work of men like Monsignor Charles Brady, Monsignor Martin Watley, and his dear friend, Monsignor Charles Fahey, as having a significant influence on him. Costello, Fahey, Monsignor James McGraw, and Father Ed Hayes all credit Monsignor Brady and their time living with him at 672 West Onondaga Street in Syracuse as the one who fired them up about the injustices to others and the church's role in being a voice for the voiceless. But those who knew Thomas Costello well, without discrediting these other great men, acknowledge that he always had the drive to promote peace and justice. His welcome and farewell greeting was always simply the word peace, right to the end of his life. Bishop Costello submitted his resignation as Auxiliary Bishop on his 75th birthday in 2004 and remained Vicar General and Vicar for Priests until 2009. In his retirement, he continued to serve the people of the diocese, 
confirming young people, offering spiritual direction, delivering inspiring homilies, and always taking a call from people in their time of need. Well, don't worry, he spent some time relaxing too, playing Sudoku, reading great books, sharing meals with good friends, and of course, rooting for the Syracuse Orange, both the men and women's basketball teams. One of his fondest moments near the end was knowing that SU beat Duke on the Blue Devils' home court. The people of the diocese would agree that Bishop Costello was no ordinary bishop. He inspired, counseled, collaborated and walked with so many of us during his 65 plus years serving as a priest. Bishop Costello stated quite often, quote, it is not enough to be a believer. One must be a witness. And he most certainly will be remembered as a man who witnessed his faith each and every day, celebrated being a child of God and lived every word of his motto, as one who serves. May God bless Bishop Thomas J. Costello, good and faithful servant.